Uh, Lil Morris, rider number two on the Carl Cox Motorsport PH Motorcycles Decay. Um, season so far has been um, it's been a bit up and down. We had a really slow start to the year. Um, a few mistakes along the way. Um, bad result at Silverstone, which has uh, put us on the back foot really. But that was my fault. Um, but yeah, it's been good. Um, I've won the last four first races on the bounce, um, which has obviously been brilliant. But I seem to uh, have developed a bit of a second race um, disappointment duck, if you like. Uh, I've never, we haven't done a double yet this year. Um, and like I said, the last four races, we've won the first one. Okay, my name is Phil Atkinson, riding for the Haasparks Motorsports team in the Ducati Tri Options Cup. Um, yeah, my season was going really well. Um, we, we were nearly in the lead of the championship up until Donington Park um, where unfortunately we had a had an accident with uh, one of the other riders. We're looking to hopefully win today would be brilliant. If, if we can't win we need to be on the podium and um, and take it from there. Um, realistically the championship to win the championship is probably out of uh, out of our reach now but if we could get back to the top three then that would be you know a realistic goal and that would be amazing for the team and, and for myself. I'm Sean Neary. I race for the uh, Zoot Racing Team in the Ducati Cup. Um, we're having a pretty good season so far, to be fair. You know, we've got another go today. Um, the sun's shining, it's my home track, so I'll definitely be giving it 100%. Hello, I'm uh, Robbie Brown. I'm number 43 in the Ducati Tri Options Cup. Um, current champion, I might add. Uh, this year, we obviously came back to defend the title. We wanted to really try and you know, stamp the crown, do it for a third time, because we've won it twice already. Um, it's not quite gone to plan. Yeah, it's a case of damage limitation. We've got to try and go out now and win every race. Um, yesterday we got on the podium, which was the first time since the first round, um, and the bike really didn't feel great. You know, we, we had so many problems with the suspension. So hopefully now we've 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 ironed it out. It, it'd be nice to go out there before a race and try and see what the setup's like, but we haven't got that luxury. Everyone's in the same boat, so we've made some changes, and we'll we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, win a few more races. Hello there, my name's uh, Rob Guyver, riding the uh, Ducati Triumphs from Cup Championship 2016. Um, had quite a good year this year, really. I've got to go out there today, and all I can do really is win, try and get the championship back on track, and then uh, try and win everything till the end of the year, really. has made a good one and he's through into second place so a good start then for Leon Morris what can Rob Guyver do from seventh place on the grid Guyver goes up the inside of Sean Neary so Neary gets plugged back into fourth place uh, Guyver pulls it back off the curb and is safely through to third place as they plummet down cascades Robbie Brown looking to make a move and the man from the uh, Stoke on Trent trying to squeeze his way through past little Leon Morris and let Morris is a pint sized character it must be an advantage weight wise on these Ducatis De James definitely definitely power to weight ratio makes a difference he also gets tucked in a little bit because he's small but of course he loses out with a bit of leverage and a bit of brute strength when it comes the muscle in the bike side from side to side so go up to complete the fifth lap of 10 then as we approach half distance the new lap record holder Robbie Brown leads the way you can see that that uh, that group of seven are way ahead of Sam Middlemass and the rest of the gang who are battling here uh, Middlemass number five Wilson number 48 there's the number 77 Jonathan Railton cutting through yeah, here he, he comes inside he cuts inside Leon Morris Morris has to leave him the space to go through and uh, the paint sprayer from Raynham down in Essex is through into second place that's where he needed to be now he's got the second half of the race to see if he can make any inroads on Robbie Brown but the most important thing surely is to keep oh Leon Morris having a moment through cascades is to keep Morris behind him Morris number two in second place number 10 Neary uh, is threatening him there in fourth place and then right behind the two of them you've got Louis Dawson Great, great battle there, and, and all pretty evenly matched, but look at Guyver, he's certainly oh. looking determined up over Clay Hill there, brilliant. New lap record for Guyver. 141.527. Rob Guyver really on the case here, has cut the gap down to 0.36 of a second. We're on to the eighth lap of 10, so he's just about, he's got time to launch a challenge here as Neary begins to cut under pressure from the red and white bike of Louis Dawson. <laughs> Sean Neary there getting a bit frisky, having a look down the inside. The Guyver, oh! <laughs> Oh my, having a look down inside the Valley of Morris, and that was Guyver completely sideways coming out of Shell Oils. Wow. And he's got to the front. 
So beautiful move then by Guyver as they go into Old Hall Corner onto the ninth lap of ten. And Robbie Brown cuts back underneath him. The lugubrious Midlander does shove his way through, but Guyver has the inside line as they drop into Cascades. So three riders going for third place here. Up front, though, it could be a win for Rob Guyver. Guyver has been the man who's won the, the most uh, so far this year, and he could be adding a seventh win to his CV as Neary goes underneath Louis Dawson into the final turn. But up ahead and over the line, it surely is going to be seven wins for Rob Guyver. He does it from seventh on the grid. Second for Robbie Brown. Third place goes to Leon Morris ahead of Sean Neary and uh, Luigi Dawson. Yeah, race two. I bottled it again. <laughs> Got this uh, phobia of the telly day. I let Rob steal it all the time. <laughs> Slightly disappointed, but by the same token, it could have been a hell of a lot worse with that last lap manoeuvre from Neary. Um, nothing really untoward, I didn't feel, but you know lucky for both of us to stay up and I'm obviously really glad that uh, I come out with a trophy so um but yeah it's all right overall it's a it's a pretty good weekend but it's just a shame not to capitalize um on yesterday really with a with another follow up today but there's um there's always a load of other boys that want to do it in there so uh, it's never that easy it just seemed to really struggle with the front end it just seemed to to lose it everywhere um rob came by me and I thought well okay if it's only one one lap to go so just go balls out and try and try and pass him in the last lap but um, it just wasn't to be uh, he rode the better race you know he came from all the way back where he did um, I'm just not riding as well as I need to be at the minute I think that's that's top and bottom of it but we've got four four races left to do at the end of the season we've got you know some good rounds that I've had especially in the past I did the double at Aston last time so hopefully I can you know do more of the same just want to keep this momentum now you know we're on the podium so I just need to to try and go one step higher but keep the momentum the main thing. I always knew this championship how close it was going to be it was going to come down to something like who makes the first mistake or a mechanical and um, so in my mind yesterday if I didn't go out there and win today my championship was over so I've never had that mentality where I thought I'd win or bin but uh, that race was one of them and uh, <laughs> the last half I sort of took my brain out and thought we've got to go for this so I just uh, pushed as hard as I could I mean Robbie I know you're a little bit disappointed and all that, but he was riding really well. You know, I, we was on par, so to get past him, I knew he was going to fight back. So I just had to do the last lap as, as best as I could. We got handled with a couple of back markers, which probably helped me a little bit. But uh, to, to bring it home after yesterday, I mean, my team, my side racing, we, we put everything into it and we try really, really hard. And um, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see. And there's a lot of friends and sponsors and family. And um, just to get the, the win today and still keep the championship alive after yesterday it's, it's fantastic and um, well done to these boys because we have some great races week to week and it's, it's enjoyable and I love it and uh, that's why we come racing so uh, more of the same at Assen really.